Hello, Zero Fury fans, and welcome to Nanolith Zadun. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're gonna start off this exhibition match stream with a match between Stoomy and Exploit on Adansonia. I'm so glad this map is being played again, because I really like this map. It's a cool map. I still think that compared to V2, like this should have been this should have been closer in. I'm not quite sure why there's a big reef there, but otherwise, this is a cool map. I like this map. It's got a nice mix of Amphib ability and obviously flat ground while also having enough hills to make sure that spiders and jump bots are useful and bots I guess have the hills. I'm not really sure if bots are super useful in this map besides amphib, but We may see I don't know However, it is a good map. I like it Anyway, we're gonna be starting with Stoomy going for the amphib factory while exploit goes for the shieldbot factory and I'm really curious to see how exploits playing exploit seems to have been leveling up a lot recently they've been I've seen them play for a while, and it's always felt like they've kind of had some issue, like some fundamental thing that they're having a hard time understanding to get good at the game, and I feel like they've started to get good at it because their elo has been going up, and apparently they also, for people who have been watching them more regularly, apparently Exploit's also been playing above their elo. Like their elo is rising, they're slightly underrated right now, which is pretty cool. Because I mean, Exploit's been working hard, as far as I can tell, to get good, and I'm very glad to see that that's paying off. Stoomy, on the other hand, I'm not really sure as much about. I don't really follow as much what they're doing. So I'm just going to assume that they're generally fairly good. And starting out with a couple constructors going straight for the energy reclaim, while Exploit, on the other hand, going for a lot of metal extractors right off the bat, jumping over to the other side, at this, this other side of the fjord here. And Stoomy, on the other hand, really more concerned about getting a defensive position. I mean, they started right in the backside. Because this map, you can basically start anywhere around here. And uh, my exploit's in the typical spot. This is where you normally would spawn. But Stoomy went for a more defensive approach. And I'm curious as to why, given that they went for Amphib, which it's... Especially on a, on a larger map like this, it's a bit harder that way. But also, the way ducks work in particular is kind of aggressive. Like, ducks, with their high alpha and fairly high damage pretty oftentimes end up suiciding because yeah they deal a lot of damage but they don't they take a decent amount of damage but not a huge amount so you're usually either hitting and running or you're hitting and then dying but either way you're dealing a lot of damage but typically i see amphib being relatively aggressive stumi on the other hand being more defensive relying a lot on the cliff around the fjord here basically this one choke point outside of jump bots and spiders and air this one choke point is the only way that stumi can be attacked however Stoomy's also not here, whereas Exploit is. Exploit's got this entire backside taken care of. They've got 12 metal per second just off of these extractors alone. And then, of course, the commander income. The only problem for Exploit is their lack of energy relative to metal, but overall, they're doing okay. Stoomy, on the other hand, they're having a hard time. They've been relying a lot on energy reclaim. And now setting up storages to try to make up for the lack of energy while they, I guess, they will have to build more energy infrastructure fairly soon. But right now, yeah, there we go. Right now they are building energy infrastructure and it's going to take a little while. I can see why they're getting the storages up because otherwise they're going to start accessing metal really badly. But the problem, of course, is once you start getting into the situation, it can be kind of hard to pull yourself out of it. Like, you don't have enough to produce. And now you're building storages, which are five, or sorry, 100 metal each. So that's not terribly expensive. But when you consider wind generators are 35 each, that's three wind gens. And on this map, 0.2 to, well, 0.2 to 2.5 is not great. If, yeah, 0.2 to 2.5 is the best you can get. So wind generators are not ideal, but say solar plants, you can get one or two solar plants, and that would be enough for Stoomy to be able to fully produce the factory. Not so much the metal, but still the factory. And of course, that also opens things up for the bandits. As we see the bandits already for exploit, smashing down those storages. So now Stoomy is back to accessing. Tried though they did, back to accessing, and the wind generator is being destroyed. Exploit is just raiding like mad. Sheesh, I can kind of see where people are going into exploit being underrated. They've definitely got that rating him down. Just really good dodges on those ducks. That was that was an awesome raid, particularly the wind gens. The wind gens were the big one. And the storages. Both of those were the big ones. The metal extractors and further ones, those, those aren't obviously useless, but there's 300 metal worth of reclaim right here. So it's not useless, but really the wind generators capped it off. Killing those is always what you want to do into your opponent's base because they can't reclaim energy, except when they already have, but then they already have. However, Stoomy rapidly getting wind generators up, 
How many constructors do they have? Five constructors, all of which in the main base. All but one of which are building wind generators like mad. So Stoomy's wanted to make sure they do not access metal any longer than they have to. If anything, they're going to need to worry about getting more metal. But hey, they've got reclaim. So Stoomy's got the right idea. Rebuild those energy, or rebuild the energy infrastructure. Get that metal reclaim it. Use that to set up and push out. And they are pushing out. Like I said, Stoomy does have this one choke point and that's it. Until exploit gets air, or I guess gets their commander on the offense, which they probably won't. They have not upgraded it at all. Whereas Stoomy, where is Stoomy's commander? Up here... Also not upgraded, so neither player upgrading their commander. Stoomy does have their choke point defended, and Exploit has no easy way through it. They have to punch through the units right now. So Stoomy basically is able to reclaim their way back into something. They're going to have to rebuild metal extractors, of course, and they have in their main base. They're getting up the reclaim. They're getting everything they need. They just need to be able to push out, claim these metal extractors, which is going to be a fight. Exploit wants to make sure that Stoomy can't get out more. I mean, Exploit can't kill Stoomy right now, but Exploit can certainly contain Stoomy. That seems to be the idea. Although I think Exploit might also just be imagining that Stoomy has already expanded to the south center and they haven't. But no, Exploit's got the scouting going on. So Exploit has a decent idea. I think Stoomy will be able to, with some trouble, take this set of metal extractors. These three. That's another six. But Exploit way ahead, really. They're, they're doing fine for energy right now. A little bit of supplemental reclaim just to get themselves into fusion. This is a good way to use reclaim. The way Stoomy did it was... A bit risky because it wasn't going into building energy infrastructure to then be able to have a stable energy economy whereas exploits already got a stable energy economy they're just using this to further fuel it while they get the okay the fusion plant's a little bit risky but if it was winds and solars i'd be a bit more on board with this as a general case like use the energy reclaim to help with the discrepancy until you manage to get static energy at which point do whatever but yeah, now exploit with a fusion plant. That's going to be a lot of resource. Like, well, decent amount of overdrive. They've got to connect the overdrive grids, though. Because there's just one metal extractor that's currently being overdriven. And with the amount of energy currently on the grid, it's really being underused. But at the same time, Stoomy, they're bouncing back hard. And actually going for gunship plant themselves. They don't want to be hit first, surprisingly, too. Because exploit cannot get through the, to Stoomy without hitting this choke point. But Stoomy's the one going for the mobile assault. They're the ones going for basically getting out of the cliff through air. Which is the best thing they can really do. That's that's a good idea. I mean, the only other thing that would happen is Exploit would do the same thing in order to get past that cliff. And then Stoomy would be stuck. But at this point, Stoomy's actually pretty well set up. And on top of that, they're more energy than they know what to do with, honestly. Actually excessing energy, which rarely happens. But yeah, it's happening right now. Probably a connection issue. They could set up more connections for the rest of this area. Like, more metal extractors being connected to the grid and then using that to overdrive more. But as it is, Stoomy's still behind 10 metal per second. There's still a lot of work going forward, and Exploit getting a gunship plant in response to seeing Stoomy's gunship plant, they know the Banshees are out. The Banshees have revealed themselves. A dirtbag was up front scouting out. So Stoomy able to push out of that defensive position. Still kind of tricky, though. They did start in the corner, and it's showing. Like, Exploit right now pretty much has the entire north side of the map completely theirs. Whereas Stoomy, they've kind of got the south side. They're starting to take the south center. They have a bit of the center, but it's nowhere near as securely. At this point, I think Stoomy's really just trying to do what they can to take care of what Exploit has, or at least they should be. Like, try to harass out Exploit. Try to get rid of anything they can that's not well defended. Like, there's naked expansions in the back. They have... There's Banshees! The Banshees can go around the back. They can just take out these expansions, right? These two here are free. The ones in the back here are a little bit harder to get to, but five Bans four or five Banshees would be able to kill the Lotus and wipe them out. There's nothing else there. Now the Tridents route is going to be a little bit harder, but even then, there's a lot of openings that could be ex that could be exploited. A lot of exploits openings, ironically, could be exploited by Stoomy. But I don't think Stoomy's going to go for it. How many gunships, How many Banshees do we have right now? Two over here and one in the base. I think one... No, not being built by exploits. So yeah, that's... A couple going around the side. I have the right idea, but I don't think they're going in the right direction. They're not attacking enough. And the problem is probably the tridents. Like, the tridents are out. They're gonna be very problematic. And from there, it's basically gonna go down to just positioning. At this point, it's really just a matter of whether or not Stoomy can put themselves in the right spot and get out of there when Exploit comes to counter. 
Of course, at the same time, Exploit's been running a massive economic advantage for the last game. For the entire game, this has been unimpeded. Up to this point, they've had roughly 10 metal per second advantage. And on top of having counter forces, Oh, that Banshee not going in the right spot. I don't know why Stumi is not going around the back, trying to see if they can find anything vulnerable. Maybe they're assuming that a bunch of Razors have been built, or a bunch of Defenders or Stardusts. I don't know, but they haven't been. But Stumi really should not be having... Those Banshees are flankers. Those Banshees have got to go to the side. They can't be attacking directly, otherwise they're going to die. And nothing can be done about it. At this point, Exploits is just really pressuring Stumi. And even if Stumi goes around the back and starts to wipe out these metal extractors, it'll still be a little bit of time, but this is still roughly the metal difference between Stumi and Exploit, are these five metal extractors here. If those can be shut off, that'll at least give Stumi some room to get out of here without having to win overwhelmingly in all these engagements, which they're not. They are actually losing the engagement, so as it is, they have to win the engagements as well as get rid of the economic advantage in order to be able to claw this game back. And it looks like they are, in fact, going around the back. This is the thing to do. That's absolutely correct. And Stumi also sending ducks around the back, too, because this is a watery map. They are using the ducks as well as they can. That's a good use of duck. Actually, that's going to be really good for getting rid of the lotuses, too, and possibly also attacking the rest of this area. Because this one lotus... This one lotus-guarded set of mechs is here. That's not particularly well guarded. In the front as well, there's a lot of openings. Exploit is going to take a lot of economic damage right now. But at the same time, there's a lot of... There's even more pressure being put on Stumi. Stumi, the commander, trying to get out of there, it's probably dead. But the counterattack from Stumi is doing a fair amount of damage. Unfortunately, Stumi not paying attention to it. If they were paying attention to that, they'd probably have the economic advantage by now. Despite losing these metal extractors, Stumi would probably have that. But they're not paying attention. Fortunately, they're multitasking, not quite able to get there. Which means they are not going to be as effective as they would like to be. I'm a bit surprised that they didn't just queue orders to get rid of these metal extractors and then also come back down here potentially. I mean, they don't know, I don't think. No, they don't know. They have no idea. But they do know at least this area is gone, so that's that's something, but at the same time, Exploit's attack was big enough that it's... I don't know how effective this will all be. I, I'm still pretty sure Stumi is not going to be holding on too long. I mean, good harassment... Also setting up an expansion. Pretty risky forward expansion there. Big thing we'll be getting back these metal extractors. And where are the conches? They need to be running up front now. Like, seriously. This conch should be up in the front lines. Or should at least be right here. Like, that's this is where the conch should be. Should be one or two conches right here. Setting up for reclaim. Possibly reclaiming right now, actually. Reclaiming right now. And then setting up the metal extractors for later. That's where they need to be. And unfortunately, Stumi not paying attention over to the northeast... I realize it is hard. That's one of the hardest things, even in a game like Zero K, even with all the interface conveniences that Zero K has, multitasking is still a real thing. It's still a thing. Being able to multitask, being able to pay attention to different parts of your army is a very important skill. And I mean, the game does provide a lot of ways of having that be less important because the units are not stupid. Like, they will try to self-preserve, but even then... It's not something that you can just ignore. And unfortunately, I think that's going to be what kills Stumi. I mean, the idea was really good. It was a very strong idea. Get rid of the economy and force Exploit to have to work on two fronts. One inside their own base. But unfortunately, Stumi just let that go and didn't bother with the fronts. And now Exploit inside the main base, just wiping out the gunship plant. One more shot should do it. Yeah, that gunship plant's down. And the metal, the wind generators are going to go... No, the anthem plant going to go soon. Really? Okay, that's more what I expect. Get rid of the character, get rid of Ringens, get rid of the conch, get rid of all that stuff that helps build this stuff faster. Because the Amphid Plant, I don't think will go in time. Let's see, that's... Oh my, that's three shots to kill it. But it takes 20... Oh, 18 seconds per shot. That was really close. If the crane starts to help the Grizzly, it might work, but I kind of... No, it's not going to happen. Stumi letting that go, going for the Razor instead. The Black Dawn will kill that Amphib Plant, and I think at that point Stumi will throw in the towel. One last attack, and then Stumi will throw in the towel. Like, Exploit has more than enough production capacity to be able to get through this without any issues. Stumi just lost both their factories, and they've also got an army that's getting pretty much countered directly. No anti-air, no... I mean, Grizzly kind of works, but no anti-air, not no numbers... Exploit stills production and has more money. Stumi might be rebuilding some point. 
Are, no, not rebuilding. Why are they not rebuilding? Extumi really has got to rebuild those factories now, not sooner. Okay, I get build caretakers. Build a couple caretakers, maybe. But no, you have enough. Just build a new factory. Just rebuild the factory and be done with it, because that's the only way Stumi has to get out of this. This is an extremely difficult situation. The saving grace being that Exploit has invested about, yeah, 3,000 metal or so into tridents, which aren't going to do any good, but it looks like Stumi not going to bother trying to claw that back, throws in the towel. That is unfortunate that this attack did not work out. I was really kind of rooting for that attack to work out, because also, ducks being ducks, they could just go back around here. Actually, both of them, really. The Banshees could go into the main base. The ducks could go around back, deal with all this stuff here. I mean, the Banshees would have to scout out the main base a little bit. That'd be more risky because of Tridents. But definitely down here with the ducks, just scout around, spread them out, see what's going on, see where Exploit has not defended, which was really nowhere. Exploit was super risky here. Any real pressure on Exploit's expansions, that would have just caused them to fold. Stumi, however, did not put that pressure on. They started defensively, and it kind of showed. Like, they really didn't have much room to go out once they had gotten pressured. And once they lost gunships, they had this one choke point, and that was it. So Exploit could just basically contain them. Admittedly, ducks can go around the back, which wasn't even really taken advantage of. That's actually the also the weird thing, is this was Amphib. There was the expansion over here, but basically, that seemed to come over land anyway. I feel like Stumi did not quite take advantage of the fact that Amphibs are amphibious. And there's a lot of water, and a lot of ways going around back behind fjords, around back behind this beaches here, the sandbars. Like, there's a lot of places that ducks can go that are just... They're there. Like, there's so many more paths you get when you're playing Amphib. I think Stumi forgot about that. And it's a bit of a shame for Stumi, but real done exploit. That was... That was actually really decent. That was pretty good micro, macro play. I mean, the early bandit raid was strong, but overall, that macro play... That worked out fairly well. I feel like Exploit, especially that the fusion transition was a bit risky, but still worked out. They never ran out of money. How was their metal anyway? Okay. Not huge. Not terrible. Metal excess was kind of there. Energy... Oh, actually... Oh, I see. You're right. Yeah, Stumi was relying a lot on Reclaim. The graph shows that for sure. Same with metal income, but Exploit way ahead. Like I said, 10 metal per second ahead the entire game. There was basically no point where Exploit was not ahead of Stumi, except right at the beginning. And similarly with Value, like, it's just, Exploit just had the economic advantage, and Stumi's harassment here, it would have been far stronger if they'd actually been paying attention to it, which is often the case. Like, if there's anything that Stumi could work on, it would just be multitasking. Which, I know, is really broad. I guess the thing to work on is... Trying to have multiple armies, and then just keep them honkied, and then get in the habit of bouncing between them. Like, regularly, every few seconds, just tapping, double-checking was there, tapping back, double-checking was there. Just keep doing that, like, start with every 10 seconds or so, and then every 5 seconds. That's probably enough, actually, for 0Ks every 5 seconds or so. Just make sure that you know what's going on. You understand the state of those armies. And that way, you're not going to have something like this, where your entire army's sitting idly while they're getting ripped to shreds. And they can kind of defend themselves, but... They were also spread out so much that even the AI probably wouldn't be able to defend too much. It would have been one versus many in every single unit's case. Anyhow, moving on in the next game, which is going to be between Capricious and Failthos on Akalon Wastelands. So probably another gunship match, possibly gunship mirror. But I'm always kind of curious to see how this is evolving. I feel like there's stuff being developed here, and I should probably be paying attention to it, even though it's a bit of an older game. I want to see how it goes. So we're going to be watching that, and it'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs> 